What is going on, Ben Nation? The most exciting part of a crypto market is when you can see it coming and it's not actually there yet. And you realize maybe, just maybe, this is your chance to accumulate that last bit before something epic starts to happen. Now, is that this moment right here? Well, I'm not sure. We're never really sure exactly when it is. We only look back in hindsight and figure out what those positions are. But I would posit to you that, and we've talked about this over and over again, what I think is getting ready to happen, and it played out to perfection. And then if you listen to any of my videos previously, then you would recognize that there's something bigger in store. So maybe now is the opportune moment. Now, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, the bell to be notified. And let's talk about it uh, because it's right here and it's playing out right in front of your eyes. Uh, <laughs> you know, last week I told you that we're probably looking at this big move coming up here with a dunk down a little bit, and then we're going to come up here, then meander a little bit, and then boom, we're going to be off to the races, right? Well, we're in that meandering sort of phase right now where we're going to be off to the races. And where those races end, I told you before, I think that uh, there's a little resistance coming along here. It can be token, uh, but, you know, there's along this way, you're going to have 6,400, 6,300 right around there. And then up here at about 85, you're going to see uh, a little bit of resistance. And now you start to zoom out and you see, like, where is this? And, you know, guys, I was looking at this right here thinking, like, you know, this is one of those lines that we don't want to cross and we don't want to break down from. But, I mean, like, do the math here. This is 2x away, and we're probably going to be shooting up there at some point pretty soon. Now, can I say that that's going to happen tomorrow? Obviously, I can't. Can I say it's going to happen next day? Of course not. What I can say is there's something loading. There's something going on in the background that we're going to end up seeing. Now, you might think to yourself, well, he always says that. That's what, the, you know, that's, and, and that is correct. That is exactly what I do. Uh, I tell you that it's coming every day because it's my job every day to come out here and tell you and remind you every day that it is coming. The question is, are you going to be ready for it? And if you're not, uh, then you're going to complain about it. If you are, then you're going to watch the video and be like, yeah, this is exactly what I was talking about or exactly what I was thinking about. And why is he absolutely 100% right about exactly what the motion is? Like, how did he do that? Why did he do that? Because I'm a genius. Uh, anyway, so the other thing is uh, Ben is going off of X until after his fight on February 23rd, just nine days away. And he wants to focus on it and make sure because here's the thing. Uh, what Ben is doing right now, he's doing for you guys. Because, and, and by the way, is there self-gratification in fighting another person and, and winning the fight, stuff like that? Of course there is. I'm not saying that there's not. What I'm saying is he's going out there right now. He's putting himself on the line for you guys to show you guys that he believes that this is a great advertising thing for him and for Bencoin and for everything involved. So what you're watching and what you're witnessing and let's back up for just a second and say, you know, we've got Hex, um, we've got Pulse Chain, we've got this fight coming up. These are these are our attention catalysts, right? You never know exactly when you'll, you know, get that big move, right? But on February 23rd, there's going to be a fight. If Ben Armstrong wins that fight and he's wearing some kind of Ben Coin logo or something like that. What do you think is going to happen? People are going to look and be like, oh my God, and they're going to get in on it. You know why? Because they just saw the guy who keeps winning continue to win. And you might be saying to yourself, well, well you didn't win with Hit Network. Well, that's a long game, partner, because uh, if you remember, uh, even BitBoy calls himself BitBoy, and Ben calls himself. Look, there's a, there's a moment here in time where you're going to see something uh, incredible and you're going to regret. And if you don't regret questioning me constantly about it, something wrong with you, bro. So anyway, you guys have a good day. And remember, this is all playing itself out. Not optimally. Nothing is playing itself out optimally. This, you know, the man was attacked um, by his best friends and stabbed in the back by a bunch of clowns. So, I mean, alleged clowns. So, but it's all turning around. The stake.com deal, all of all of this stuff, it's all in Ben's favor. It's going to continue to be in Ben's favor. Um, are you going to be in Ben's favor? That's a question only you can ask. And the way that you answer that question is 
buy yourself a bag of Ben and hold on tight. It's not financial advice. My name is Blees. I'm always right. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll talk to you again very, very soon.